Any future that will not require a change from you will not be different from the past. You should be more alive with the past. Yes, indeed, if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. The answers come for you. In the name of Jesus. Numbers chapter 11. Are we blessed already? Uh, Are we sure we are blessed? Yes, sir. Numbers and chapter 11. And the Bible tells us the story of Moses in Numbers chapter 11 from verse 16. Yeah, about how that he received an advice from his uncle um, or his in law rather, Jethro, that they need to have other people assist him in his kingdom assignment. So, what it means is that there are certain bodies that come with ministry, and there are certain bodies that come as a result of your absence. <laughs> so that Moses was killing himself and God was watching was not because God was punishing him but he lacked wisdom in that aspect so he had to take his father in law to say Moses I know you are going to I know you have the anointing but the way you are going you will last long so appoint for yourself five men to share this burden with Moses decided to consult God and God said what he said is true mm-hmm. So get yourself 70 others. Make that. So it means in every church, when God wants to appoint leaders, He doesn't give you a name. He tells the leader there to bring the name. Reason being that God will not come down and work with them. It's you. <laughs> Even for Timothy, Paul told him, He said, This gospel I give you. When you find faithful men committed to them, He didn't say, Come, let me give you this. <laughs> so you will find them because you really want to work. God will not force you to work with people you cannot work with. Please understand this God part of choice. Because that's when many men take an advantage of it. And that's why you see sometimes we are handicapped. You think if I, I won't force everybody to be to be born in pain. No, you, with the way Jesus of and was, you should have just carried, you know, one kind of power like this. The way he was beating people out of the temple. I said, he was <laughs> But he still left you to decide to appreciate what he did there. Or to ignore it. Even on the cross, a man still is something. Mm-hmm. Just like some of you will do. I see he's truly the other person. Let's see him Let him show him now. You can't ever. <laughs> I've seen many pictures because of that. I say, physician, save thyself. Is that also? We don't even really understand faces. Maybe that man is in his season. But because of lack of maturity, you say physician. If I saw me who slapped him, say tell us who pro- professor who slapped him. Jesus, you are Jesus, right? Tell us. What was the name of the person? I'm mature. Tell your name of the mature. I'm mature. Bro. Bro. You need to go. But there are certain heights of growth that contest certain releases of the head. But we see that of the world of God 2032 that is able to build and then give you what? An inheritance. So the word, first word, build you until you are birthed. It means inheritance sits on a structure. Inheritance sits on what? A structure. Until you are birthed. Then it sits on you. Do you understand that? Physician, save thyself. And a man who was insulted that we had the ability to say today. He didn't need to disappear to paradise to check if there's peace. He said to him, you will be with me in paradise. And the guy told what? So sometimes be careful that you don't begin to insult Joseph because you find him in the prison. Mm-hmm. Possibly God kept him there because he has to meet you. Mm-hmm. No, no, God, you, you don't see me on TV, so you follow a man that is on TV, he's a big man of God. Mm-hmm. If I had not been here, you would have met him. No, imagine he takes me out of this environment now. Possibly my suffering and my pain to be in this venue is because of you. That's why he scattered the life of the young man, said, Oh, I stay in that locality because of you. And because of that, he used that to his own. Right. Are you seeing life? Mm. Or if he was not in that prison, the butler would not be out. He needed to be there to encounter that man and change his life. But the man can abuse it. Because we lack maturity. We still have babies. 
a level. There's a level you go to, certain words can impact you. There are places you, there are certain things you teach me, not because I am I'm, I'm bigger than the word of God, but at that level, it's like at this age, man, this age you keep sucking bread, don't it affect your roots? It's, you know when you are growing up, you say exclusive <laughs> one year, but yet you get to a point, it's useless. You see, this guy is man, you give him something else. But please, are we following? That's how the word of God must come to you. From level to level. The level you get, not because it's no longer the word of God, but it can feed you at that point in time. Please, are we understanding these things? So the Bible says, and that he called unto himself the seventy elders, and that um, when the Bible God said, he gathered them and he consecrated himself, and the spirit fell upon them. Two were not in the camp. <laughs> and when Joshua saw these two that never came to see, I mean, they disobeyed the instruction of their leader, and yet the gifting fell on them. Joshua was mad. I said, The Lord forbid that you prophesy. And uh, he told Moses, and Moses made his statement. He said, Are you jealous of me? Do you capture that? Mm. Are you what? Jealous of me. And Moses replied, He said, I wish they are all of God's children. I wish all of them be prophet. If you read, if you read verse 25, he said, Then the Lord came in the cloud and spoke to him and took off his spirit that was upon him and placed the same upon the 70 elders. And it happened when the spirit rested upon them that they prophesied, although they never did see the game. It sits on the life. So I can give you ah! it will last time. So stop to say this I have never laid hands on me. What profit? I will give you a life that naturally brings what you are given. Mm. Yet, they gave them that prophetic gift. Hear what the Bible is saying. It says, although they never did it again after their first Because they have to carry the life that sustained that man to go to continue. When someone who <coughs> himself 40 days, he broke the man, he carried him there again 40 days, fasting, dry. You just want to be children now. And the prophetic gift, it doesn't work. You must carry the life of that same Moses. Mm. So when you see me say, come and pray, join me, join me. I'm giving you a life, not a gift. And that life I'm giving you can bring the gift with speed. Because every man to assume the character. Even for John the Baptist, they say he came in the life of Elijah. Also taking upon him, how to get the kind of so just like the way the man behaves. Mm. Because the man to assume the character. When they find one who has developed such a character, understand the spiritual process. So it has been God's desire from all ages that his people be prophetic because even God is prophetic in nature. That's how he does his things. Are we following? Remember that one time he was just walking through his servant. See, every one of us have a prophetic nature. Are we following? But not every one of us is called to the office of what? The prophet. But we are like our father. That's why you say, I just felt this. I did this. Why? The nature is the inside of you. That's why if a prophet appears before you, he can unlock that part of you. Mm-hmm. you know, if an apostle appears before you, he can. So, the Bible says, and he gave some apostles. So, it will be bigger than you. Let me just continue this time. I wanted to go somewhere, but it will, it will be bigger than you. You can carry on. Do, do we understand that? So, that is his desire from all ages. Joel 2 28. He said, and in the latter days, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall what? So one of the first proof he told us of the spirit is that men will what? Prophesy. The word prophecy there is not just talking about giving word of knowledge, word of wisdom and the rest of them, but talking about speaking what inspired words. So what sponsored by the spirit? Mm. Are we together? What's what sponsored by the spirit? Revelation 19 verse 10. It says, and that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. When you want to testify, what do you do? You raise your hand. So whenever there is a prophetic word being released, it means Jesus is testifying. Mm-hmm. Let, let me say something. Mm-hmm. Do you capture it now? Mm-hmm. You do it. How to say something, please? What God has done. So when there is the spirit of prophecy, Jesus is testifying. He's raising his hands. Say yes. Mm-hmm. Do we understand that? Yes, sir. 
First Corinthians. It's Acts 4 36. Let's play around these scriptures. Acts 4 and verse 36. How to profess. I don't worry, we'll get to where I'm going to. Follow me. Acts chapter 4 and verse 36. If you catch my spirit, it's better than catching my life. Mm-hmm. Are we following? Please. In life, you know your emphasis. It should be as you say. Acts 4 and verse 36. All right, it says, and Joseph, who was also named Barnabas by the apostles, why did he name him that way? He, which is translated the son of God, encouragement. They named him because they saw a kind of life from that guy. He was gifted in the ministry of encouragement. When he sees someone down, he's always there to cheer them up, to sponsor life again into their spirit. Because encouragement simply means to impart courage. Encouragement to impact what? Courage. So they saw he always do that and they named him. Not that's the not the name his mother called him. They gave him that name. He said, God, this guy is the son of encouragement. You can't stay around him and be down. You can't stay around him and, and be depressed or frustrated. He has it as his spirit in the inside of him. Are we following? Yes. Seven Chronicles starts from two. Second Chronicles chapter 30 and verse 22. And Ezekiah gave encouragement to all the Levites who taught the good knowledge of the Lord. And they ate throughout the feast seven days, offering peace offerings and making confession to the Lord God of their father. Ezekiah gave what? <laughs> encouragement to all of them. Second Chronicles 32 and verse 6. How to prophesy that one. Then he set military camps, captains over the people, gathered them together to him in the open square of the city gate and gave them encouragement. Saying, verse 7, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed before the king of Assyria, nor before the multitude that is with him, for there are more with us than with him. With him is an arm of the flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people were strengthened by those words. Mm-hmm. Are we still here? Yes, the people were what? Strengthened. How to prophesy. You will see what will happen to you from this moment. After this says, I'm teaching you the pillars of prophecy. How is that? The easiest way to prophesy. <laughs> Are we following? First Thessalonians 3 and verse 2. First Thessalonians 3 and verse 2. And the people were strengthened by those words. The people were what? Strengthened by those words. First Thessalonians 3 and verse 2. He said, And I sent Timothy, our brother and minister of God and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ to establish you and what? Encourage you concerning the faith. Encourage you concerning the faith. Eternal only one and verse 30. Are we getting blessed already? Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 I say catch my spirit. <laughs> you told me one verse 30. Joshua, the son of Nun, who stands before you, he shall go in there and encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. But if they must inherit it, what must you do? Encourage him. <laughs> First Corinthians, let's not get back. Are we following? For he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Encourage him. Even the way we said inheritance sits on structure, men get to continue in their pathway to get inheritance when they receive encouragement. By the end of this message, you begin to think how many people you have killed mm-hmm. without knowing that you are being murdered. Let's continue. 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 Let's 1 Corinthians chapter 14 from verse 1 to 3. 
He said, pursue love and desire spiritual gifts. So, spiritual gifts are things which you what? Desire. If you see a scripture like this, and someone tells you, hey, it's, not, it's not about all this gifting, gifting, gifting. Then it's about what? God is telling you to desire something like this. I said that it is something you know, does not make it good. That at some point it does not make it good. Are we together? I've heard people say that. One time God said to me, in my pursuit for the anointing, I kept pursuing. I said, Lord, give me your presence. Give me your presence. Give me your presence. So most of those early days of life, I found that I would go to a meeting. I would just enter. For some of you that heard my story, I will come into a meeting. People are crying and shouting everywhere. Everywhere. And apart from that, I think I, I loved it. But I found that even when I pray for the sick, they don't get hit. So I was confused. <laughs> and I began to ask God, Father, where is the missing link? And the problem was because that's why you must be careful what you listen to. The source of information can be your cage for the next of your 50 years of your life. And God said to me, He said, Open your scripture. So I opened it. First Corinthians, I think 13, 12, 12 is scripture, I think 13, love and 14. He said, Read. And I read the, the whole of that chapter. And he said to me, Who was I talking to in those places? I said, Christians and believers. And he said to me, If you pursue my presence, you will have it. But if you disobey my instruction, I said, You should convert spiritual things. <laughs> It catched me for years. I won't lie. I couldn't see those gifts operating. But I knew I carried the tangibility of his presence. So he told me, me that goes right. for very endless things. I don't know what I'm doing. You are, you are the one. You know some of you can correct Jesus. Mm-hmm. Remember those two men, clear us, on their way to a mouse. Jesus. Did you know that man that I did? Oh, no, no. And Jesus patiently was listening. Very, very well. He left it. Look at people that were explaining scripture that you thought they knew it because they were sharing light. You had to see open the The question is what did you understand before? Jesus for three chapters. Read it, come with three chapters. What were they sharing there? That they had to see for them to now understand the scripture. Are we together? Are we following? Yes, sir. He said, pursue love and desire spiritual gifts. Desire it. You can't be bigger than God. You can't correct him. Desire it. But especially that you may prophesy. For he that speaks in a tongue does not speak to men but to God. For no one understands him. However, in the spirit he speaks what? Mysteries. Please, is my emphasis. But he who prophesies speaks edification. Edification simply means to build. Exhortation, exhortation means to encourage and comfort. Comfort means to what? To, to console. So these are the three pillars of prophecy. If I can learn how to encourage a man, I will from there dive into the word of knowledge. So when I see that, the first word I can start with is his well. Don't worry about the problem. Is that what I do when you come to Try, 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 try. Just relax, everything will be fine. With God, it is possible. Mm-hmm. Like that, I'm saying the power, the river opens. Mm-hmm. Then I begin to say, Wait, I'm saying this and this. Mm-hmm. That's why I started from where we're coming from. For you to report to Do you know, even in first Samuel 30 and from verse 4 to 6, David had the same issue. He came to his camp. His wife, Abigail, and the rest were taken. That of his men were taken. They were even angry to want to stone him. And the Bible says he began to weep and cry. When he was crying, please, did you hear the Bible say the voice in the weapon came? Mm-hmm. It's your business to keep crying. God is not moved by your tears or by your faith. When you show him your faith, he shows you his faithfulness. Mm-hmm. And the devil was crying. Suddenly, he remembered there is a way to pipe into this thing. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, and he encouraged himself to the Lord. Suddenly, he asked, Should I pursue mm-hmm. How do you split of seconds from the tears a man began to hear voice telling him, Pursue. Mm-hmm. Overtake it. He will recover. Mm. Uh, but he was crying and the voice was angry. Uh, he said that prophecy, he who prophesies speaks spirit with us. You edify, you exhort, you comfort. That's the one you can do physically before you get into one of the So if I can play around these spirit killers, 
I will be piping into it with ease. Check my life. You know how this thing works now. You don't have to do it. Jesus. Are we together? <laughs> Psalm 46 and verse 4. John 7 38. He said, And out of you shall flow rivers of what? Water. Psalm 46 verse 4. Look at what he said. He said, There is a river. Talking about the deposit of God's spirit inside of you. Mm. Whose stream makes glad the city we are sitting. That river's assignment is to make glad the city of God. You can see why God will know you so much. Oh, you have finished people before you can help them. And he called him the son of a how, how will a man live a life that they gave him such a name? I didn't say his mother or his faith, the apostles. You can be called this now. So, yeah, the sons of discouragement. Are we together? Colossians 5 verse 6. He said, let your word be seasoned with salt. Salt brings taste. Light dispels darkness. Don't talk anyhow. Mm-hmm. People are going through a lot. Depressed, frustrated. Don't add to it. Can God give you a word for them? But if you want to get that word, start by what? Edifying them. Mm-hmm. Encouraging them. And comforting them. Then the river will open. Okay. Let's <laughs> it looks very simple, but I know you don't know it. I said, anytime you just come and you're talking about this, it's not a problem. Let's trust God. Everything just fine. And suddenly, pop, my eyes. Because from those, they say, he who prophesies, does, he sits on these three pillars. Mm-hmm. So once I do, I enter inside the city. That's how even words of wisdom can come. Mm. Have you not seen? Like when we had the, the issue, everybody, I said, it's going to be fine. So I said, and they operate. See, word of wisdom is to know what to do. Like what came on Solomon. Mm-hmm. So you don't know you're operating in it. Mm-hmm. So the thing comes and says, go like this. Let's start with all cells. <coughs> but I had to post on that pillars to be able to pipe into the operation of the word, the word of wisdom or the word of not knowledge. So the thing is you even call discernment of spirit is your human evaluation. The only way you can trust the discernment is to stand on these two pillars. Mm. You are the one that just assuming and the way this is this, this will be the problem. It's your evaluation. That's no discernment. Mm. That's what's discernment. Are we together? Yes. John chapter one. Mm. John chapter 1. There you go. 35 to 51. How to prophesy. John chapter 1. So you are wondering. I look for a word. The word refused to come. The Bible says in verse 45, I'm Philip found Natalia. I want to teach you the way when Jesus talks. Read your scriptures. Mm. The Bible says one time they brought a woman. We'll get to the scripture later. They brought a woman who was caught in the very act of adultery. And this stop. The Lord said, stone her to death. If you knew the Lord, why did you bring him there? Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. Ah. If you knew what the Lord says you do, mm-hmm. why did you bring her to Jesus? Was he a judge there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he bent down. The Bible says to write. I told you what he did. He wrote the first commandment and broke it. So the commandment was given to us. Mm-hmm. He wrote the second one in Genesis and broke it. Mm-hmm. Then he stood up and said, Where are your accusers? I thought it was ridiculous because the Bible said it caught her in the very eyes. Mm. But the question is, as long as she comes to Jesus now, it has changed. That's why you come to my office. I said, my past is this, my past is this. You give me six smile. And I tell you, whatever you have said is your business, I relate to you from here. That thing has nothing to do with me. It doesn't concern me. <coughs> but there's nothing I can do about that one. Mm. But our relationship starts from this point that I know you. I cannot begin to work out God in this side of you. Because that's how Jesus behaved. He didn't kill him and say, ah! I thought you are finished. Mm-hmm. This adultery, you are finished. Mm-hmm. Some of you, the things you complain about, that you do worse. It was not terrible. Mm-hmm. It was. Yeah. You are complaining. The difference is that you that we are, we are trying to, <laughs> to understand God. 
You are not discerning who is fake and who is real. Oh, wow. yeah. You. You are the man. The problem there is that as Christians, we are only gifted in talk. Some of the things we complain about others, we are worse in the middle of the truth. When they sit down to evaluate our own life, we are worse. Worst! Are we together? Yes, there is a way in Jesus. Such that with his words, he can pierce through the hardest hearts. Look at when he saw that also song. Just like his flash of light. He was asking me, which I thought he had. As if Saul, the one has finished. That's how some of you will do. Today, this will jump, will jump. You are finished. But he was asking him as if he was pleading. Say, Papa, you are not ash. You don't have to say, you are sitting like that. <laughs> Tell me you are fire. <laughs> but look at the way he was asked. As he was begging him, I said, Please, can stop doing this to me. <laughs> and that alone changed that life, man's life. Because when you give people so much of your love, it's difficult for them to keep you mm. in them grace. The Bible says, One time a man came to Jesus and said, oh, Master, what is that? Do you say, Face my own? As soon as it starts, it's mm-hmm. not worse than that. Nah, like, like. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Follow the command. Say, I've done everything. Say, one thing is needful. Sell your goods and give to the poor. The Bible said the man went to a less sorrowful. But he met a man who the Pharisees were angry. I said, That's correct. I used to cheat you. And only told him one statement. Come, let me go and tell you. And the man said, Everything I have, let me go. I give it as well. Are we together? Yes. John 1, let's, let's finish up. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law, and also the prophet wrote Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said to him, Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. For the same way, he was not angry. Because somebody told you, I'm not coming to your church. He go, we punish you. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible said Philip was not what? Angry. He just encouraged him, Just try your best. Come and what? I don't want to pay your TV. Just come and see me. No, yes, you can't go. Oh, just come. Just come. See, I've been begging you to come. No, I'm not saying anything. If you don't come, don't come. She just doesn't behave like that. Salt brings taste. Mm. Taste brings darkness. Don't be living and tie your nature. Are we together? Don't live and tie your nature. You can't be bringing bitterness all the time. That you speak to people and they go back depressed. What type of salt are you? Are we together? You make them more dark, get into sin more. What type of light are you? That is even quenching the little light they have. Mm. Your job should be if a man meets you, you should feel he has met Jesus. If he's in this you he should go back in. <coughs> See, I'm not saying that these three pillars, exaltation comes even with admonishment. But that admonishment will be even with love for restoration, not to come. Mm. So we are not taking the place of the car and the caution. The essence of why I caution you and say, don't go out through this door. There's a scope on there is because I don't want you to get salt. So if you have nourishment to be because you want to save. Mm. Not because you want to kill and tear down. Are we together? Yes, sir. 14. Okay, 47. Jesus saw Nathaniel coming toward him and said of him, Behold, and his life is indeed, in whom is not this it? Somebody that was arguing you. Mm-hmm. No, if you are the one they told, can any good thing come out of another thing? Neither can protect you. And you are still telling the man that, ah, oh, this is an Israelite behave. They like proof. Because when you go to the Middle East, when you go to the US, you say, I want to tell you about Jesus, he's the bread of life. The bread is from when floor began to miss. <laughs> That's a, a Western man preaches Jesus. When you go to Israel, that you carry a bread. That has not been carried when I draw this history. That's why Jesus That's why Jesus confirmed me. He said you behave like a true Israelite. He does not need a gay life. Or you would have been angry. Hmm. Hmm. How dare you question? I call it that. <laughs> but look at what he's saying to the same man. I'm teaching you to understand how Jesus talks. 
and the devil said to me, How do you know? Please listen, 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 listen. 46, let's read again. Hmm. And Nathanael said to him, Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. And Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is not this is. And Nathanael is saying, How do you know me? Did he call his name? Hmm. Hey. <laughs> you don't know what that little word has done. Just when I say, you said everything. And you didn't do all the knowledge. I was just encouraging you. <laughs> please, 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 please. And Jesus said to him, Nathaniel, be, said, Behold, and Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. And Nathaniel is asking Jesus, How do you know? And Jesus did not give him his name. <laughs> now Mr. Angelo said, before Philip called you when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Do you see the prophetic is over mm -hmm. And Nathaniel answered and said, Robert, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. And Jesus said, Is it because I said to you I saw you under the fig tree? <laughs> Do you believe you will see greater deeds? Things. Do we understand that? Yes. So when we play around the pillars, we begin to see greater depths of it. Are, are we following? Yes, sir. John chapter 4. The Bible says, And Jesus met a woman at the well, a Samaritan woman who was supposed to have no dealings with the Jews. And he said to her, Give me water to drink. And the woman never even paid an attention. And he was not angry. No, if you were Jesus, you were sent to a crusade like this. And somebody did that kind of this. I say, Bale Kusa Alatoba. Well, this is I will prove to you today that I'm the son of God. You see, no miracle in scripture was done by Jesus to prove that he was the son of God. Mm. He did that out of his sheer goodness. Because the best time to have proved that he was the son of God was when he went to his own town. And the Bible says he did not do mighty miracles there because his people did not believe. That was the best opportunity now. So let me prove to you today. If it was out of his goodness. That's why people can be healed and yet not saved. Because he's just a bit to catch them. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. Have you not seen who said who knows them? Just passing by. They were healed. Does he mean they receive Jesus? As I said, see, I want to check your sin before I pray. You can't do it. Because you understand this. It has nothing to do with it. It's just his goodness. In fact, they get it, then they get convinced. For you as a philosopher, I'm a teacher. I've seen John See, when last was the last time? The work with God was correct. If I pray for you, mm -hmm. this healing, we have to find out. He <laughs> heals them and they will tell them to go and see them. Mm -hmm. I thought you should have dealt with that first. Mm -hmm. yes. First Corinthians 14, 18 to 19. First Corinthians 14, 18 to 19. Are we there? Yes, the Bible says, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than you all. Yet in the church, I would rather speak five words with my understanding. And I may teach others also than 10,000 words in tongue. The mystery of five words can change life. And it's already taken to the Allah. That's what the Bible says. It's as simple as saying, God loves you. Everything will be five words. He said it's better than 10,000 of it. situation covered inside, depressed, frustrated, beaten by the circumstances and battle of life, best you can do is to release certification, encouragement, and comfort. Are we following? Release it. That's how Jesus behaves. That's how the apostles behave. Read through the, the writings of the apostles. And I want to encourage the church in this. I want to encourage the church in this. I want to encourage the church in this. The kind of apostolic you can now. 
why Jesus said to John the Beloved, you don't know what manner of spirit is on you. That's the problem. That's why Jesus is just calling that fire. What manner of spirit is in you? Do we understand this? Yes, sir. Person from today, and you want to trust the way you speak the words to help them. Would you start with an encouragement, a comfort, and a vision in respect of their situation? And before you know what's happening, you will see the prophetic way that will flow. Then you begin to pipe into word of knowledge, discernment of spirit, words of wisdom. That's how it works. Are we together? You must trust the Holy Ghost to give you words to help them. Everything is fine. Don't worry. That's how to prophesy. Speaking what inspired will not distort the words. Yes, sir. Something must control your mouth from today. That's why when the Holy Ghost came into the chapter two, the Bible says he sat on them as tongues of fire to correct the way they used to talk. Correct. Don't talk anyhow. Are we following? Yes, sir. We don't know what people are going through. Are we together? And they don't need to be announcing it. But they should say it now before we know. Make up your mind to be a son of a For today. Are we following? Make up your mind. Because some of you, they are not so you, you do not look at me. You should die. Please read your Bible. Now you see your Bible. Is that how you see him? Yes, sir. Is that how you see him? That's how some of you are. The thing is hot. It's to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. As I say, what you are claiming, you are discerning spirit. It's just your human evaluation. Mm-hmm. There is no oppression. They say it's discernment of spirit. It's a gift. It's operating by the spirit. This one you are doing is not flesh. Mm-hmm. It's because of what you saw now. You are just <laughs> starting every day. Mm-hmm. How does that look like you're operating the spirit? Mm-hmm. So when you do that, are we learning anything? Yes, I'm teaching my secret. <laughs> when you do that and the prophetic river flow opens up, how do I know when I receive thoughts, words, impression in my spirit? I don't want to get away. Mm. Or can only get away when I leave it on others. Then I know that's the word. I repeat, the word don't want to get away from me. Or will only get away when I release it on others. Then that's it. Mm. <laughs> Pray. Hebrews chapter 10, 24 to 25 will be my last scripture this morning. Are we blessed already? Ah. We are scripture now we close. Hebrews 10, 24 to 25. Why do we come to Are we blessed? Hebrews 10. 24 to 25. The Bible says, And let us consider one another in order to steal love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, mm. as is the manner of some, but what? Exhorting one another. So why do we come to church? To exhort one another. Because how are you doing? It's not nice seeing you. It's not nice seeing you. How are you weak? Sister, don't worry, everything will be fine. That's why you come. That somebody can encourage you. I said the admonishment is to save somebody, mm-hmm. not to kill the person. Don't be so. Yes, sir. If they put things that are happening in front of the school gate that is killing people, and I come here and say, Don't go there. If you don't go and what you don't, is it because I want you to go and die? I don't want you to die. So that's what you should think, even in what you call admonishment. That my job is to restore this one, not to push them into hell further. Please understand, the Bible says He has been giving us the ministry of what? Reconciliation. He says it's all about redemption. How do I save? How do I snatch many from hell? Not to put them into hell. Because some of you, you are gifted in condemning. It's Jesus, look at this sister. Come and look at some of you just was fooling. No. When you look at that, it should bring tears on your face and say, huh? So the devil will cut this one from the body of Christ. That anger in your spirit will move in the intercession. Mm-hmm. Because two things you cannot mix together. 
That's how I feel. I'm not interested. Why would the devil do such a thing? Do you understand that? Because imagine how he converted all and now he called him and beneficial call us to the gospel of Christ. That's how that is. That's how that if they can just meet with the grace of God. So I will keep praying every day that I can come to encounter this lady, please. Save her like you did to the prodigal son. Let her realize this error of mistake. I will tear her down. I will talk her down. I will kill her more with my words. I should get angry and say, Church people, everybody just want to live with you. Again, since you have not done any ministry of reconciliation, no? this ministry of sending you tell her, mm. he's still the same one that lives in 99 to push you. Come on, come on. That same God, if he can be that conscious of that. Ask them how I feel if one person leaves the church. As we sometimes we are wondering, what is it? I feel the pain as a shepherd. That's the true heart of a shepherd. You know, pain I've touched. Even Jesus in his prayer in John chapter 17, he said, I lost no man. You can see the emotion is one. He said, Except the one that was destined to become. He said, For all that you have given to me, I can't accept. You, you will rejoice. I said, You go. go! There is nothing shepardic about your heart. Hey. You're a monster. Hey. Are we following? You're a monster. A spiritual ninja. There's nothing shepardic about the Some of you, you are. You know, if you, you happen to be God, hmm. or you happen to be Jesus, the whole world will not work with you. You will not keep it. Do you know what it is for a man to be sitting on the car? Somebody will slap me and say, Prophet, ah, who slapped you? And the Bible says he said not a word. Can you go for a man of the house? Can you go? I'm teaching you the life of a man you claim you give your life to. Kai. You can find out that your life is still with you. Mm. Yes, sir. Kai. Are we together? Check the way he behaves. Check the way he related with others in the world. Check it. He was seeing things from a different point of view. His perspective was different. Even because I wish that all might be saved. I wish. That's my desire. That all, if possible, everybody should be born again. That's my joy. Do we understand that? Yes. Please. One of the worst things that can happen to you is to be mentally saved. Because you can be okay, two hands, two legs, two eyes. But when you are mentally sick, it's the worst kind of disability. And what most of us are doing is that we are affecting people's mental health. You have what to say to that sister now. Three days! She not herself. Because on your account, she has called it other people. Then 15 of them. Because the anger and bitterness is inside of her. And when you come up to church, she says, So we lift up holy hands. In one of which I could. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 only way. Mm-hmm. After committing some suicide. You went on a suicidal mission mm. and came to church. You should be in jail. Uh. Stop affecting people's mental health. If you know how to release words that expresses God's grace on men, that tears them up and set them up, you will do what no motivational speaker can do. Yes, sir. Why? The word of God is speak. Yes, sir. Do you know the Bible says we should say to the righteous, it is well. Mm-hmm. That's why I sit like a national anthem. Mm-hmm. When I don't have anything to say, I look at you and say, Don't worry. This is well. I love them. Yeah, the thing won't work. Even if I don't give you a word of knowledge, I will give you a word of wisdom. I say, Don't worry, just go like this. I can't go like this. Yeah, some of you don't know the common word of wisdom is not for telling. Mm-hmm. What of wisdom knowledge is telling the past and the present. What of wisdom is telling the future and what you should do in a given situation of a word of knowledge. He, he, Solomon did any prophetic word, and yet he was not to see the king wisdom. Hmm. <laughs> just assume it. Yes, no, he still know what to do in a situation. It's word of wisdom. You are pretty in it. What you don't know? You can solve what positive thinking can make for you. If you know how to learn and make up your mind to live your life like this. And everyone I meet in my life, I will put life and hope in them. 
I will put life. The Bible says, when there is life, are we following? I will put life and hope in them. So we have concluded people's destiny. You have sent them to hell, even before that church. So this one, straight is going. You, now we are helping. We stand in God. To have your devotional life strong, you, you are sending it to the you. That we are sending your name as prayer request. The church will be telling you and pray for you. That God should help you. are sending people to hell. With your words. There are people dying. There are people that are still up on the church because of words. Because of words. Even when they fail. Don't spend their failure to their face to the point they are broken down, feel guilty and destabilized about it. And they look like the worst people on earth. No. Read your Bible. That's not how the apostles behaved. That's not how Jesus behaved. Look at if you happen to be the one to meet the woman of Samaria. And you knew this issue. God has spoken your prophetic to see Oh, you are so good. It's just they open your leg everywhere. <laughs> now only you get a leg. <laughs> no, that's where you will have started from. Yes, but look at the way he went. Do you know in all he said, not one point was a condemnation. Mm-hmm. And that woman became an evangelist. Kai. Went to the whole city and came and said, Come and see a man that said everything about me. Is everything just like that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how that word you say God will help you look like to that person. You are saying five intelligent word. I better speak it like a thousand times. It's just fine. But can bring the word to the person. Say he has said everything about my life. I just want to speak it. Say that. As we gather the city, and they were begging him, please stay with us two more days to tell you the kind of discouragement that has hit that city, especially in the country we are now. Many and they are struggling with what to eat and survive. So this is your cloth, don't feed. We know you wear fitted cloth now. Papa preach SLS, don't so wear fitted. Some of our fathers will be professor and look at him and say, Come, your time is up. And when you start hearing him say, You left your husband, you oh, look at how they started. Mm-hmm. They are trying to say, God, he wants to change your story now. Mm-hmm. The place are we following? Learn it. We are killing people in the church, killing people in the world. By one innocent world, somebody is destabilized, scattered, and battered. Don't affect people's mental health. It is worse than any kind of sickness. When a man's mental health is affected, how can you help a man now that believes in righteousness not to have money? That's it, that mental health is worse than even physical disability. How can you help such a man? How do you want to study deliverance? I will show you one scripture to balance everything I've said. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. 1 26 to 29. Can we profess now? Yes, sir. He said, I will put my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall also profess now. And I want you, I like to it. I don't know, I've taught you now. This is how you stay. Do it and see yourself what happens to you in the next month. The Holy Ghost will see a person who can release words about people. Because I know it's not about people. See you. You just say, this is a rush, a rush, a rush, a rush. Because there is a river whose stream out of your bed. His job is to make glad, not sad. Mm-hmm. Glad the city. Now of course, you are the city. That river makes the city glad. Are we together? Yes, sir. Please change. Le- See, one of the things you will learn early in life is how to talk. Mm. So you don't know it at all. Okay, okay, okay. But you know what I'm saying? Say this thing, it will bring discouragement to somebody. It will, it will make somebody lose hope in life. Check those in depression. Check those that are frustrated. Those that are, you know, the way you can affect somebody's mental mind and the person will start going mad physically. 
Why don't you feel that you, your mind is so traumatized that you are being like that? You, 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 you saw that was, the, somebody, the, the way they scattered it, maybe you are growing up, you are not you are not no book, you start behaving mad. I'm not saying this physically, you are affected mentally because of words. Hmm. That's Corinthians. I will be like this one. Yes, That's uh, one. Chapter 1 from verse 26. He said, For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Mm-hmm. 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 I make you understand how God thinks. See the way he just if you are the one, you say you, you are what you are doing like that is coming to speak. Will you decide like this? Mm. My friend, you are, you are pretty in the summit of the devil. It's pretty. You are not designing nothing. You are just lying. Lying spirit is operating through you. That thing will follow us for the process. Are we together? I start by always looking for how to give people hope. And when I start there, even when there are issues of their life God needs to address, then He tells me, I say, this thing God is saying you should do this, do this, do this. Because when I start from that foundation, I will miss pass the message of that admonition way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Try from the something. Even your friends, your me, you are just chatting with them. Start to encourage somebody. Make it a lifestyle. I say you open your prophetic heart, it will burst. I'm teaching the secret of the prophetic. Are we following? Yes, sir. We know this thing. We are not doing this. We know it. We have the key now. I think this thing works. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 27. He said, But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. And the best things of the world and the things which are despised. God has what chosen. So it means if I see anything despised, I should look like God's attention is on this kind of things. Mm. Uh, if I see things that are not wise according to me, I okay. should look God's attention is on this kind of things. If I see things that look foolish in this uh, world, God's attention is on this kind of things. If I see things that are base, those are the kind of things that means I will open the first time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm teaching you why is he said that no flesh, a glory in flesh. Listen, what qualifies men is their weaknesses. Are you seeing it? <laughs> that thing you are despising, the Bible is saying that those are the kind of things God put his attention upon. Are we together? Yes, that thing you are despising. The problem there is that, you know, because of the rating and the measurement we have in the church, we used to hide things. Mm. So when I come to this service now, I begin to look at, you know, the, their, their pastor Darius and their pastor Micaiah and their pastor Joseph, I see these are the men there. Then I look like at a Mary Magdalene in this place. And then I'll forget that the day they will kill me. These boys are just going to be the first to run. But well, that woman will still carry a devil to my burial ground to sleep beside it. This man should be. Do you know who I am? And yet he's still accepting. They didn't despise me. I will serve God for my life. As the person I serve, I have done this. I have done this. I said, it's not there for me. The joy of it is that you have even realized that this is just like that. It's like me, you will not punish me so much. <laughs> and I have seen most of them. The way they will kill themselves for that God. In fact, the ones who have been killed is the one that feels not going to do Like the Bible talked about the Pharisee who came to the devil. At the time of everything, check out. <laughs> if you get, if you get the Bible, ask them. They don't want the book. I tie them. I do this. And the Bible says, and a, and a, and a, uh, a man came who could not even look up to heaven. He put his hands on the bed and said, "Give me the riches." Home, 
please bring down this your high class one that you are using to judge people. This high class you are wear to the city. <laughs> you have to know. I'm telling you. You have to this. So you are worse than the people you complain about. You are worse. It's just because we have not heard your story. You are worse. More terrible than the people you complain about. What is God man say? You say they are designing fake men of God. This one is fake. He's not real. Why he's doing that? He just left an hotel room. Yeah. And he's designing. He don't come to be praying for that. God should let him do something. You are designing fake men of God. Why that? The template of the world I see you too. Just every boy you saw me evaluating and judging them. It's your choice. What you talking about? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, that's why you find that you are stuck. You didn't know they come out. You didn't know they come out. You didn't know it's Nazis. That's why I said, let me tell you today. Yes, this is how we study too. Yes, Do you see that my life? Yes, sir. Is that not the first time I start to wait? I thought you did. Yes, sir. I said, sir. It's not a problem. You come around. Come to. Ah! It's too open. I agree. It's like a bitch. Oh, you are saying you are not starting. You pull up with the other people. Now you are glad that you enter that bridge. The other gate is great. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 I said, look for your friends. Look for them. How is everything? Hope everything is fine. So we are going to make everything beautiful. Don't worry, let's just trust God. Don't worry about the country. Everything is fine. That guy can call you back in two years. You see, that thing is fine to get there for us. And it's better than it ever. You see, those five words. You see, you didn't know what you did to me. Those five words. You didn't know what you did. Are we together? Yes, sir. I will let them choose. Oh. I'll say something. 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 I'll say something.
and then their heart is now opened for the gospel. Says, Zacchaeus, come to this salvation has come to you. Look at the way he speaks. I told you a man just insulted him. That's the worst insult that can happen to you. Can any good thing? It's like people that you say good for nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nathaniel, you are a good Israelite and it was only a thick life. Hmm. Nathaniel is interpreting those simple words as how do you know me? <laughs> and if you understand that just saying is when everything will be fine. It's bigger than what you said. Mm -hmm. You're done thinking, I just said, don't worry, it's well, everything fine. <laughs> but Nathaniel is asking this kind of words, how do you know me? <laughs> Are we together? Yes, sir. See, that's how the prophetic river operates. Mm. Please, are we following? Yes, sir. That's how it operates. Pray that prayer one more time. Please, 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 May it be that to you. Amen. 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 And the Kremlin declare the same answer, the same consolation, the same solution, the same lifting, the same encouragement men will get when they meet with Jesus. From today, may they get that from you. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen. The Bible said, and Jesus said to my father, I said this and your mother. Wait till you see angels ascend and descend upon the sun. Then we carry him back to Genesis 7. The Bible says, and Jacob slept and saw a stone. An angel ascending and descending. And he called that stone what? The gate of heaven. So the men are gates. So which is said, angel ascending and what? Descending. Let people access heaven to you. Mm. Are we together? Let people access heaven to you. When they meet you, let it be heaven you want to meet you. Don't push them into a fire. They are not the cause. They are not an agent of the devil. They are not working for him. Do you hear that? Mm. You are not so propagating his agenda. You are not working for the devil. No. Now you have told three people how very good that sister and brother is. If God convert them, have you not finished as well? Mm. But if you believe in the converting power of God, you don't know this God yourself. That's the problem. If you believe in him, you know there is no life. No life he cannot change. I believe in this. I've seen certain terrible people. And how God just puts a great power and encounter and their life don't exist. So and I believe in that power, that redemptive power of God. I believe in it. Are we together? Believe in it. That I can do anything for the life of anyone. I pray for you. May the prayer open for you from today. Amen. May God begin to release in you words that will first encourage you. Amen. And words that will bring encouragement, life, and hope to others. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By this teaching this morning, I stand in the capacity of my office and call. I sharpen your prophetic gift. Amen. Amen. I release the gift of the word of wisdom upon you. Amen. Amen. The gift of the word of knowledge. Amen. The gift of prophecy. Amen. The gift of the discernment of spirit. Amen. Begin to operate in these realities from today. Amen. And just like Jesus used that to bring a city to God. Amen. Use that to bring men to himself. Amen. And the king, you use that to bring men to God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I speak forth over your week. And the crown I declare, all through the seven days of this week may be a dimension of strange favors for you. Amen. There will be a passing day you will not have a testimony to share. May God wrote wonders without number in your life. May He prove Himself as God at all times. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands and thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.